Hello and welcome. Today we are going to discuss about component communication in Vue.js and Laravel. As you know, in the previous video, we have discussed how we can get data uh, using Axios and display them here. But the problem is here. We have two separate components, one for task list and we have the task form here. If I uh, add any other uh, like task here, let's say cleaning number two or number three, if I click on the add, it will be adding it to the database. If I come and refresh it, and it will show here, but it will not show here. Because we are using separate component, this component will not know that you have added a new data, now you should display it here. If you are using the same component, of course you can just put it a little push note and push uh, function and just display it here. But when you have separate component, you must use, uh, you must know how to uh, communicate between two component. For example, when one component do something, the other component should know that they have done something. Let us do uh, something against them, something like that. So we will learn that in this video. I mean, when I add something, it should add that directly here. This is very important topic. When you develop any view JS application, either with Laravel or any other framework, you need to use it because most of time you have separate components and you have separate events. That's why it is very important uh, important to know how you can communicate between two components. So let's see how we are going to do that. You must learn about the custom event. For example, we can register custom event by saying, if someone add a form, I want to fire an event. And that event should, uh, let's say, should uh, call other components that we have fired an event, and you can do anything about that. Let's see how you can do that one. Uh, if you go to your application, as you know, we have our uh, basic example here. I will come to the form here. This time, you will just comment out the adding form. We don't need to just dis display this one for now. And what we are going to do is, we are going to use the custom uh, event uh, in uh, in Vue.js. Here is how you are going to uh, use this one. You can register your event by using the dollar sign emit and your event name for example if i come here and say we have the form when the function our the, our method at task uh, was uh, used after we send the request to uh, the server we want to fire an event for that how you are going to fire an event there are two ways to fire an event one is the global one is the local so if you are go going to use the to global one and that is how you can tell other component that we are going to fire an event. So you should register an event in the window of your application. For example, I come here and say window.event. You can name it anything you want, but for now I will say it is window and event and it is going to be new instance of Vue.js. That's it. Now we can use the event. The reason is this is global because if you use the event like this, uh, the, the name does not matter, but you should register it globally here. That way, everywhere in your application, you can use the event and you can listen to all events. For now, it's fine here. I'll save it and I'll come to my application here. Now, here in this component, as you know, it is, is the task form.view component. I can use the event like this event dot and we have dollar sign emit. That is very simple. And then you will just add your custom event. For now, we say task created like that. And then as the second parameter, you can pass some value. For now, we will not pass any value. Just for now, it's okay. And I'll save it. So now this is the, our, our event. Now we can listen to this event in our uh, event uh, in our task list here. For example, when this was created, we want to listen for this one. And then when we listen to that, then we can do something against it. Or against not something like, uh, you can do, do anything you want here. For now, if I say event dot dollar sign on. On is opposite, no, not opposite. It is like in the, here we use the emit. Emit will just say that we have an event, but the on will listen to that one. That one is shouting, for example, this one is listening. The on will listen. Listen to this component. When we listen, when we listen to this one, and when it was fired, 
we can just pass a function here so i will use the es6 version you can just fire a function like this this dollar sign this uh, uh, brackets or this brackets means the function and what is the function is going to do here is the environment of the function so i will just pull all this data here it means when the task was created just send an ajax request and it will just populate the data for the task like the previous video we will save it and this time if i come here and refresh our page I will hard reload control shift r to reload everything from scratch as you can see we don't have any event now it is because as you can see because we do not have any event it is not going to show us for now we will solve the problem here so let's add one more like car repair number three if i add the task as you can see we can display it here without refreshing the page now it is showing all of this the new data here so if i refresh okay without refreshing the page now we can add it to our database then we should clean up our form here so if i come to the form we, we can fire the event and now we can say this the title is equal to empty if i come and do it again okay let's refresh the page still it is not showing we will solve this problem also and okay it is empty if i say cleaning number four add the task it will be empty and it will add that to the following here so be without refreshing the page uh, for example if someone come to our application they should show this data, data i mean in here we don't need to fire for the event that should show by default when they fire an event they should append our new data here so that is what we are going to do in the next video thank you for watching